head of it, Rex. This is the mother of the baby. Still young. I mean, she is under 12 months old, under a year. Um, she's one of the female that hang around very uh, quite often into the area where we are, up to Impala Plains and Befeshuk Dam a lot of time. We tend to see her around into the area. There was also one female that um, used to be here quite a lot. She might be moving into far north. And there's also two females that uh, hang around very close to the Sandy Patch area. With sometimes a few males, two, three males all together. one of the female that is more common to see around in the area or oh, it's well known here from Wild Earth. It's called short one female. Uh, from the beginning when we started to see her around in the area she was a lot more aggressive and now she's tend to be more relaxed. It could be the experience previously with vehicles you'll never know. It happens to the animals once it's been abused or once been sinned or once it's been harassed with vehicles. Really, she won't be happy with the vehicle once they come close by. Animals attempt to ne learn all of that. And they really re react if anything happens badly before. If anything comes for the second time or approach as a vehicle, it won't be happy. A female rhino has white rhino like this, a fully grown one, it weighs up to 2,000 kg, which is two ton, and the fully grown male also weighs the same. A black rhino into the area it weighs up to, from 800 kg up to 1,200 kg, which is one and a half ton. 1 and 1.2 ton which this one is a lot more bigger and heavy it's one of the five for our afternoon we're still I mean hopping Mopoko mouth and uh, stick spread they have to move towards the water water hole and we're gonna take our time here slowly slowly and go up to the east and see if we can be lucky. If we look at the behavior of the female, it looks like it's pushing that young male away. It happens quite a lot. You find that the young male giants on the female and it's really about getting interested on mating because it doesn't have a chance to mate with the female. The female won't be happy with that. It will push it simple away. Once he comes will face uh, the young male and the young male will know that it will be trouble. She will stop or try to go away slowly, slowly. Alex, if you look at the animal itself, yeah. you can understand why it's having a poor eyesight. Very small eyes, huh? 
very small eyes. Yeah. 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 And uh, all this area, the reason why most of the NOA when it comes to our side is not very, that much good. If you look at the most uh, antelope or animal that get hunted to hunt them, if you look at the all animals that are very good, our side is very good. The same as human beings, the eyes are on front. Really, a human being is very good because 80 degree from wherever I'm facing, I can see from the front. So animals like they having eyesight, they can't see if anything comes straight directly to the head because the eyes are from the side itself. They can see anything coming from the side. Both sides are very good on it. 45 angle degree from the side, they can really, really uh, pick that. They can see it. And the reason why is because some of them, when it comes to sense of smell, it is very, very good. If I look at the um, uh, human bee or baboons or our primates, they have eyes on the front and it's very good. Baboons, they can spot something coming from distance, going up into the tree and let the other species you know that's leopard coming. Monkey and all like that, they're very good. Lions, and, like, also very good. Our side is very, very good. And leopard cheetah, too. Our side is very, very good because the eyes are more into the front. So what the male doing there? It's just um, pointing himself against the tree. <laughs> <laughs> 